you are provided with solid e carry out the following tests and uh, record your observations and inferences in the spaces provided place all the solid e in a boring tube add about 10 centimeters cube of dilute nitric acid warm the mixture and then allow it to stand until all the solid dissolves add about 10 centimeters cube of distilled water to the solution and shake retain the solution for test b and c so we are adding dilute you are adding uh, dilute nitric acid to a uh, salt e that you don't know so we expect that this the salt could be something like a carbonate uh, so we expect to see a vevacence because we are adding an acid that is the expectation that we will see a vevacence or you will not see a vevacence so whenever you are adding an acid to a given solid you are adding an acid just expect a vevacence if there is no vevacence then it means there is no carbonate inside there or sulfite so for this one the observation was that uh, there is no if ever sense if ever sense so if there is no ever sense it means that the the carbonate the sulfite is absent if there was a ever sense then the carbonate and the sulfite is present that is the observation number one for adding the acid and after that you were supposed to add water what happened did the solid dissolve to form a colorless solution or which color whatever what was the color after dissolving in water so for this one that is another observation you need to make solid e dissolve e dissolves to form a blue solution so e dissolves to form a blue solution once a blue solution is formed don't think it twice that one simply means the copper two ions are present that's what it means use about 10 to centimeters portion of solution obtained in 3a for each of the following tests to the first portion add two to three drops of aqueous barium nitrate we are adding barium nitrate remember we have talked about barium nitrate we expect a white precipitate or no white precipitate so for this case there was no white ppt no white ppt formed you can say formed no white ppt formed so if there was no white ppt formed then it means there was no carbonate there was no sulfite of course to make a we have we have decided that these ones were absent so here now what we are, what we are remained with we are going to say that there is no sulfate this one is absent the salvate ion is absent right because we are not going to again write the carbonate or the sulfite here that it is absent already we have said up here that it is not there therefore we write this one is absent that shows majority and understanding of the concepts to the second portion add two to three two or three drops of aqueous lead nitrate we are adding lead nitrate now remember from here we have said there is no carbonate there is no so let us see the observation here when we added lead nitrate when you are adding lead remember you expect a white precipitate or a yellow precipitate like i said on the other, the other, the other video lead iodide if there was iodine inside there it will form lead iodide which is a yellow precipitate if there is a chloride inside there it will form lead chloride so let us see the observation no yellow 
PPT formed. So if there is no yellow PPT formed in it means that the iodine ions was absent. No white PPT formed. Now, if there is no white PPT formed, then we say there is no chloride ion. Chloride ions was absent. Sometimes you can even say bromide ion because bromide ions also formed a white precipitate with lead. Absent. These two ions were absent. Now, the question is, why didn't I say the sulfate, the sulfite, and the carbonate? It is because already from the above uh, experiments, we have already said that this, the salt, the carbonate, the sulfite, and the sulfate are not there. Therefore, we are not going to repeat ourselves. We only include the, the anion or the cation that we have not mentioned. Therefore, this means this chloride is absent. To the third portion, add aqueous sodium hydroxide dropways until in excess. We are adding sodium hydroxide until in excess. Sodium hydroxide until in excess. Ah, the blue PPT for a uh, blue PPT is formed, uh, which does not dissolve or insoluble. Insoluble in excess. So a blue precipitate is formed which does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. Therefore, that confirms that that also tells you that it is the two co copper two ions are, pre are present. So long as it is a blue precipitate, it confirms copper. Copper two ions are the only ions which are blue in color. Place about 3 centimeters of aqueous ammonia in a test tube to the fourth portion. Add all of the aqueous ammonia from the test tube dropwise. Place 3 centimeters of aqueous ammonia in a test tube to the fourth portion. Add all aqueous ammonia from the test tube dropwise. So dropwise. So if you are putting drop or you are adding dropwise, don't expect them to tell you until in excess. Dropwise, you put the dropwise and then you end in excess. That is the expectation of you. So here, a blue precipitate, a blue PPT is formed. Uh, it is that dissolve in excess to form a deep blue solution a deep blue solution that tells you it is copper two ions that are present so when you find things repeating themselves like this don't worry you are very fine you are just doing the right thing so the remaining solution of solid of solid e in the boiling tube Add or solid G provided. Shake the mixture for about two minutes after which after the mixture after, filter the mixture into a boiling tube. Retain the filtered for tests one and Roman two. Uh, so a blue solution. The remember the blue solution solid E formed a blue solution. Now the blue solution, the observation is that the blue solution changes to green, changes to green. So if the blue solution changes to green, it means that the, 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 the copper ions has been displaced. Displaced by what? What is green? The green is the iron 2. Therefore, it means that copper 2 uh, has displaced. It's been displaced by G. And uh, then, 
a brown residue is formed it all remains brown residue uh, and then another thing is that they, after filtration we have a green filtrate a green filtrate and then you also can add that cu2 positive reduced reduced by g to about two centimeters portion of filtrate add aqueous ammonia dropwise until in excess we are adding the aqueous ammonia that is sodium hydroxide dropwise until in excess then a green ppt is formed which is insoluble insoluble in excess insoluble in excess that one is iron 2 present iron 2 is present to the to about two centimeters portion of the filtrate add two to three drops of dilute hydro, hydrogen peroxide solution hydrogen peroxide solution so green solution changes to brown so a green solution changes to brown so that means uh, iron 2 has been oxidized oxidized to iron 3 because iron 3 are the one which are brown so you can say iron 3 uh, formed and three formed and the there you expect a ever sense you expect a ever sense yeah you don't have to put anything there ah uh, this is the last printed page and remember this is the kcse certificate of secondary education 2021 which was done in 2022 2022 on march it was march uh, thank you for your time may you be blessed